Welcome back. You don't have to wait for Cinco de Mayo to throw a fabulous fiesta. Grab your friends and do it right now. But what I love about this menu is that it's not the typically heavy food that you're used to seeing. No, it's not. And we're going to start by making pozole. This is our lightened version of Mexico's famous pork soup. I'm going to start with a pork loin roast. I've cut it into four pieces. You can see that it's really nice and lean. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of vegetable oil to a preheated Dutch oven. And I can put the pork in. I'm going to let it cook until it's browned on all sides. Once the pork is nicely browned, then we can go ahead and we'll add a little bit of chicken stock. Now we just want to cover this and let it simmer. That'll let the pork get nice and tender. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes. So I'll set this one aside. I have another one that I've been cooking so that we can go ahead and start making the soup. I want to take the pork out and I'll let it stand for just a few minutes so that it'll be a little bit easier to handle. And now let's go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients. First I have some onion and garlic. Now I'll add some more of the chicken stock. We have some water. A can of tomato sauce. A can of chopped green chilies. And we're also going to add a can of hominy. The hominy is really interesting. You're going to find it in the canned vegetable aisle. And it's actually corn that's been treated. So you can see that it's actually almost double in size. The hominy can be either yellow or white. You just want to rinse it before you add it to the pozole. And it becomes a key ingredient because of its nice corn flavor. And it's just a little bit chewy. It's also a staple of Mexican cuisine because when it's ground, it becomes the basis for corn tortillas. For a little extra flavor, we have some cumin and some ancho chili powder, a little bit of hot sauce, and now the pork should be ready to shred. So I'm just going to use two forks. I'll pull the pork apart until it's all in bite-sized pieces. So once the pork is all shredded, it goes back into the pot. And now what we want to do is let this just simmer low and slow so that all the flavors can blend and it'll be a delicious soup. That takes about another 30 minutes. So while this cooks, let's see what Mary Ann's going to bring to the party. I love to travel and one of the best parts for me is being able to experience lots of the local foods that are available. And street tacos are one of my favorites. Thin corn tortillas mounted with spicy meat, they're so good. And they can be made with all kinds of different meat, pork, beef. Today, I'm using chicken breasts. They've been spiced up with classic taco seasoning, cumin, black pepper, and a little ginger. They're cooked in a slow cooker, low and slow, till they're nice and tender. The meat is shredded, and then it just goes right back into the slow cooker to keep nice and warm. Now, street tacos are typically served with either a crunchy slaw or salad on the top, and I'm making rainbow salad. I start with a package of the rainbow salad mix and add it in with some sliced green onions. The dressing has a ton of flavor. It starts with honey, Dijon mustard, and a little bit of garlic powder. I'll squeeze a lime right in with it. A Little bit of a rough chop of cilantro. And I like to use a bowl and a scissors to chop it. Keeps everything in the bowl, avoids the mess on your counter. That goes right in and then finally finish it off with a little bit of oil. Give it a whisk till everything's blended and then it goes right over the top of the salad mix. Give it a toss to mix it well. And when it's time to serve it, just put the slow cooker right on the table. That keeps the chicken nice and warm. Heat corn tortillas, and this little tortilla warmer is a great way to keep the tortillas from drying out. Then, it's time for everybody to make their own. Make sure to double up on those corn tortillas. Make sure that's mixed. A Little bit of chicken goes right over the top. Some of that rainbow salad. 
And finally, a little bit of shredded cheese. This is queso fresco, but you can use chihuahua or cheddar. Monterey Jack works too. It's fun, it's interactive. I am so ready for a fiesta, and it looks like that soup is ready too. You know, the soup is really rich and flavorful, and now I can go ahead and add the finishing touches. And the traditional toppings for pizzoli include some shredded lettuce, some nice slices of some radish. That's color and a great texture. Um, we'll add a little bit of lime. Just a quick squeeze here. Yum. Right flavor, and how about a sprig of cilantro on top? Now, it's kind of fun to go ahead and just put the soup pot on the table and let your guests serve themselves. They can add their favorite toppings. It's really wonderful that way. And it's spiced just right. It's not too spicy, mm -hmm. but really flavorful. And I love that you get to be a guest again at your own party, that you're sure. not worrying about taking care of everything. Right. And speaking of that, every fiesta needs a really good margarita. Of course it does. Our berry margarita slush is so good and it's so easy. All you do is take the berry sauce from Deerberg's Deli and freeze it with your favorite margarita. Mm -hmm. It's all you do. It gets, it gets somewhat firm and then all you have to do is just scrape it into a glass. Another wonderful make ahead. Absolutely. Add your favorite soda to it. And then get a little fancy. Garnish it with the lime. Pretty. And blackberry. Mm. And I'm going to hand you that one there. Oh, and I'll make you. another one okay, here. I'm going to enjoy this here in just a minute. But we also don't want to forget the guacamole. And in the magazine, we have a wonderful recipe. We've added some roasted poblanos and roasted peppers along with some corn. This is really great with your chips. I love guacamole, especially when it's just a little bit different. It's perfect. And if you want to celebrate Cinco de Mayo with us, we're throwing a party in our Deerberg School of Cooking. Just check Deerbergs.com for all of the details. We're going to take a break, but when we come back, we're making Meyer lemon pie, and you're going to love it.